All right, I think something filmmakers always struggle with is how do you transport something like this? It's big, it's clunky, it's uh, you know weirdly tall and uh, in some places and a very narrow quick plate base. Uh, it, maybe you're like us and uh, you have sophisticated ways of traveling with it, like putting it in somebody's lap in the uh, in the back seat and they hold it while you drive. Or or maybe uh, it's a quick plate on a camera cart that you just uh, you know mounted into. Or a personal favorite, uh, you you put it in the front seat and you you take your seatbelt and you click it in and you just nestle it right into that front seat uh, safely as you drive along the highway. I'm Keenan with Threefold and we think we found the best way to transport your fully built camera. We've been talking about getting some new camera bags for the last few months, trying to decide what we want to do. And thankfully, Manfrotto helped us out and they said, hey, we have these new bags coming out and we want to send them to you guys to check them out. Now, this is not a sponsored video, but they did send us these bags for us to give them our honest thoughts and our honest review. But are these the bags that we want to use to haul our cameras around? We wanted to have some bags that we could carry fully built cameras with. Are these gonna hold up to the test? Now, before I showed you those, what's the traditional bag? A lot of the bags in the market right now are the doctor style bags, like this, where they open with two flaps. And this is a fine way of carrying it around. This is the, uh, this is kind of the old school, like goes back to like the newscaster. You know, they have the giant uh, bags that they pull the cameras out of. But uh, Manfrotto went a little different route. They went for the flip open lid route. So they actually have three in the series. They have a small, medium, and large. Oh, sorry, that's the back. Small, medium, and large. These are the Pro Light Cine Loader bags, and they come in three different sizes. This is the medium and the large. These are the only ones that we have. But we're gonna run through the features and some of the cool things that, that we noticed uh, as we were checking these bags out. All right, so let's dive into some of the features on the, uh, the large bag. Now, these remind me a lot of like the Aperture uh, cases that they have uh, because it, it's a soft case, soft uh, bag, uh, but it has a lot of rigidity to it. So you can feel really comfortable stacking these things uh, and having cameras that are built and not having to worry that they're gonna get crushed. This top is like a, an exo form. It's like a, a hard lid to it. Yes, who is it? And uh, it has a lot of durability right in the lid. And the cool thing about the lid is it, it's not just a flat lid with like a, a zipper pouch inside. Uh, it actually has a, a little bit of width to it. So when you're looking at the storage options that are here, you can open up these zippers and you actually have some depth to add some bigger things, not just, you know, single pieces of paper for instance, putting some rolls of tape in there. And what's really cool is, so there's three pockets built in on the lid. This is a clear one so you can see everything. We love that. You guys know all about our Plano cases and how we like everything clear. This front little pouch is also clear, which we love. And you can put a little pen or a tool in these uh, little loops here. And then there's another pouch. It is deep, but it is not clear. So you might lose things here. Uh, I think I would have preferred just having uh, two, you know, two clear pouches, kind of a divided thing rather than having a, a thin little one here. But uh, maybe maybe I'm alone on that. And there's uh, plenty of things that you, know, you could still stick into here and uh, not lose. But um, with this being clear and this being clear, it'd be easy to forget about the things that are behind this nice little clear pouch. So far, love the lid, love what we're doing here. Uh, the top, as we keep talking about the lid, uh, inside it comes with a shoulder strap, uh, but it also comes with uh, some little straps for here. So these straps you can hook through here and be able to strap in a tripod right on top. So kind of a, another multi-use, able to add something to the top without adding a lot of bulk to the actual bag itself or having to carry around a whole nother uh, tripod bag. So um, cool little design, quick clip, quick release design uh, for that. And uh, we, don't have a, we don't have a head on here, but you can imagine if we did, right? Uh, so it has this, uh, you know, this quick clip system. Um, I'm gonna say, I don't know, I think I would prefer like actual clips um, versus, uh, versus this system. But I don't know, maybe there's a reason they did this. 
rigidity and uh, how well it actually holds it in place. Uh, it definitely has a better like lock uh, to it. Um, is a little bit more, you know, moderately more work to uh, to install it, but still pretty good. It does that does worry me because uh, just basically that one thing I could see that breaking uh, pretty easily. Um, so kind of wish they had the uh, the standard uh, clip uh, instead of this system. But it feels good. Like I said, like the uh, the rigidity of it uh, does make you feel confident that you wouldn't have to worry about putting a, a tripod on top of uh, a fully built camera in here and uh, and and worry about it uh, getting smushed at all. Externally, let's keep going externally. Nice padded handles over here. Nice. We have a front pouch that has some loops up here. Plus, uh, has lots of little compartments and pockets for uh, keeping everything in here. And this, this front compartment has some, has some depth to it as well. The side compartments, uh, although they look flat, they have a little bit of room, uh, a little wiggle room. They have kind of a, you know, that little uh, uh, pleated vent look. You have some, some room here, so it's not as thin as it looks uh, on camera. In the back, we do have a, one more zipper compartment for all those papers I was talking about, all those small things. And we also have a strap for hooking it onto luggage things. Now, one cool thing back here in this little compartment, there's a little bitty air tag compartment for keeping track of your camera bag. So uh, nice that it's in a, a very hidden location uh, and kind of a, an unsuspecting location as well. So it's not just right out in the open as you open it and you see your, your air tag. So uh, a nice little feature for the you know next generation of not losing things. All right, now diving into the bottom of the bag. The bottom of the bag has been fully coated and uh, obviously all of the material is uh, waterproof, but the, the bottom of the bag has an extra coating so you can feel safe putting it down in, in wet grass uh, or whatever. Not gonna have to worry about that. There are these little straps um, and I'm not sure what these are for. They do have a little elastic on this side. Um, so maybe it's just a, you know another way to secure them um, to a cart or to something that um, you can loop underneath. Uh, one thing I do find interesting on uh, both the large and the medium, and I'm guessing the small as well, uh, there are no feet uh, anywhere on these bags. Um, this is a this is a pretty like uh, sticky rubbery, uh, so that's going to help. And maybe that's what this is for. It, you know, help the bag from sliding around. Uh, but just uh, one thought is worrying about the durability of the bottom of this bag long term since there are no feet to kind of um, take the bulk weight of the uh, the bag on. Uh, it does have a really hard bottom like it's not going to bend. There's got to be a, a piece of uh, really thick plastic uh, on the bottom here uh, to help support that. So um, that's going to be strong but just wondering you know if you are sliding it around on cement how long the uh, the bottom of this fabric is going to last. Uh, let's jump in and, and go inside. Uh, the walls of this bag, uh, they have uh, some sort of honeycomb thing that was on the, uh, uh, the info dock. So the side walls are really secure too. Like there's a lot of uh, rigidity in this uh, vertically. So again, you can stack things, uh, decently heavy things on this. Inside they have their uh, specially branded uh, M-Guard dividers and uh, a lot of different combinations that you can do in here. Uh, I'm gonna pull these out and show you guys uh, what we're working with here. So the, uh, the Manfrotto, uh, they're uh, specially designed M guard. So uh, unlike some of the traditional old school uh, camera bag uh, dividers, man, we have some around here somewhere. Unlike a lot of the old school camera dividers, which are just a, uh, ooh, that sounds terrible, I'm sure, uh, a little piece of foam that, uh, you know, very, very bendable. Uh, these have a lot of like rigidity in between them and especially vertically uh, that, you know, they can withstand a little bit more weight. Plus they come in uh, some more unique sizes. So, you know, these, these side ones more designed for keeping lenses and uh, circular things safe off of the, uh, the main panel here. All right, so before I fully uh, finish this, let's grab a camera and see how well it actually fits uh, one of our you know, fully built cameras that we could toss in here and, and actually be able to load up with some things. So 
I'm gonna leave that like this. All right, so we got our map box in here and uh, our fully built camera. We might just have to make some adjustments to our uh, actual panels in here. Otherwise, we are looking very good. You could imagine what it'd be like if you could see this, right? Ta-da! It, you know, this isn't quite uh, perfect, but um, all right, let's just stick a, you know another lens in, and this is 7200, so it's a, it's a long boy, it's a tall boy, fits in here pretty nicely. Plus, there is a a little strap here for securing the camera. Um, it is, it is. Uh, it is movable, uh, so just Velcros on each side. Um, there is something that I do have a question about that I haven't seemed to, uh, to find the answer of yet. Down here, way down deep, there's these two little uh, little red tabs, and I'll show you a close-up of it. Uh, you know, they're right down here. Uh, I don't know what those are for. I'm, I have uh, not figured out uh, what that's actually for yet, but... Um, Well, you know what? I know what they're for. I just figured it out and maybe we'll just cut to this um, or we'll leave it in. Uh, these straps that hold the uh, the bag up and kind of uh, vertical are actually able to Velcro off. A nice feature. And then this can flip a lot farther down. When you are not using these, you can actually just take these straps and then hook them into these red loops here, so then you don't have these, uh, you know, long cords dangling around in here, which uh, is a that is a really great feature to have. Uh, another feature you do have your uh, little window for putting your business card and uh, all your information there. Um, but let's jump into the actual dimensions. The medium bag is uh, 21 inches long. It is uh, 11 inches wide and 12 inches tall. It was rated for a payload of 33 pounds or 15 kilograms, and it uh, weighs uh, seven pounds, 6.9 pounds. The large comes in at 23 and a half inches long, 14 uh, and a quarter inches wide, and then uh, 14 about, you know, just shy of 14 inches tall and weighs eight pounds. And again, rated for a heavier payload of 55 pounds or 25 kilograms. And uh, it doesn't seem like that big of a dimension jump, like just a couple inches of each, but it is a, it is a significant jump uh, in size for um, the bag itself. Let's talk pricing though. Let's talk, what does this thing cost? So the pricing is, pretty middle of the road for camera bags that are similar, like the doctor bag that I showed you. So the large comes in at 319 US, $319. Uh, and the medium comes in at 279. And the small bag comes in at 219.99. So again, it it is a very secure bag, but again, pricing wise, it is middle of the road, not you know crazy expensive. Camera bags all are just kind of expensive. They're all a little bit more uh, pricey, but you're putting a lot of valuable stuff in here that you do want to keep safe and you do want to keep uh, protected. The other cool part about these bags and the fabric that they use, this is a fully waterproof uh, ripstop that they have. So we like this design a lot more than the doctor bag. We have our one doctor bag and it works fine, but it always kind of feels like every time you put your uh, hand or arm in there, uh, it's, it's closing in and uh, um, kind of like the uh, Venus flytrap. It's just, it's just uh, eating your hand slowly. And uh, we bought one and that was, a, that was enough for us. We haven't bought any more. We aren't crazy about the design. And so we were really excited about these when, uh, when we got the email. So uh, check it out. We hope you guys liked this, this video. We hope you guys liked the bags. Um, there's a link in the description to uh, check them out if you guys want to um, investigate further. But if you guys have any questions about them, leave them in the comments and uh, hit the like button. See you guys in the next one.